everyone it is Tanya I am coming to do another your creative studio unboxing so I'm really excited about um, this because it has um, deer on there so we will see what it looks like um, I just got it in the mail yesterday so uh, I am trying to be um, as expeditious as possible I don't want to take up too much time okay so let's see what we got we have a bookmark it's really nice quality as well it's, it's um it's pretty thick it's not like paper or anything and it's really nice look at that it's so cute okay and then we have uh, vintage coupons that's what it says oh guys look at this you know I love this they're like um, labels I guess they're label coupons but just think how many um, things you can do with this uh, all the things you can have hanging off your journals and um, tags and things like that love that Okay. All right. Let me put that in there. Uh, guys, if you hear something, that is my washing machine. I'm trying to do. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to do chores as well as record. Okay, so this is a cling stamp. Oh, it's several. So you got several little deer. So cute. You even got a baby one. Ah, so cute okay and then um note cards so let's just open that up real quick I don't want to try to... okay oh these are nice look you got some that have dots on there some like this um in line love this okay and then we have another stamp this looks like it is a lady deer <laughs> cute I don't know if you can see that but that's how it looks okay and then we have some washi oh this is pretty um, let me see if I can find the, um, now you can see it. Ah, that's so pretty. Look at that. This would be perfect for a woodland journal. All these things right here would be perfect for a woodland journal. Oh, and then we got some, um, stickers. You guys know I love me some clear stickers. And we have another stamp. Oh, this one is a big one. Love these. Uh, we have some note cards or some stick sticky notes. I'm cool with that. I love these things like like this um, because they go perfect. Like when you need um, ephemera in your journal, this is perfect. Ooh, and we got some um, stamps. Love that as well. Let's see what we got. Uh oh, I was trying not to cut the card and I didn't cut it all the way. Okay. Oh my gosh. Let's just take a few out. I don't want to take about. Oh, but look at that. That's cute. I don't want to take all of them out, but. And they are not, they are thicker than um, real stamps, but they are really nice. A lot of bird, a lot of nature. Um, theme penguins really cute those are really cute like those so this is definitely you know given that woodland nature um, vibe oh these are pretty too I like these this is definitely easy ephemera right here I mean it already has the um, Oh, and they're and they're thick. Look how thick they are. Love these. Oh, that's so cute. Right? 
Okay, that's that's easy. That's really cute, ephemera. Oh, and then we have some more um, stickers. These look more like a garden theme. Are these stickers or um, vellum? Vellum stickers. I think that's what they are, y'all. They're stickers. They're vellum stickers. Yeah. That's what they are. They're vellum stickers. Really pretty. Okay. And then we have um, some stickers with the images on there. So pretty. Okay. And then we get some um, vellum. Really pretty vellum. Look at that. Love that. Okay, guys. So, you guys, what do you guys think we should make? I'm kind of feeling some nature tags or some type of ephemera. So, I'm going to put something together and I'll be back. Okay, guys. So, this is what we're going to make. So, I decided to just do some simple ephemera with um, the um, things in the box because... Ah, so pretty, you know, so naturey, <laughs> woodland, you know. So I was like, we can just do something really simple. And the things in the box, you know, um, make it really easy. So this is from the box, and then this is from the box. And, you know, this is just craft cardstock. And then we have this. The, both of these are from the box. These are from those labels, right? So and I just made a little um, tag right here. And then... This is, you know, from the box as well. So that's what we're going to do. Just make some simple ephemera. And I hope you guys like what we're going to make. So put that in there. So what we're going to need is a piece of um, craft cardstock. This is, I think it's 110 pound or 100 pound. Weight is not very heavy. And y'all know that I don't measure. So all I'm going to do is just fold it over. This is an easy... Easy peasy pocket, right? I want this one to be a little bit smaller than the other one. So easy peasy pocket, right? So we have it just like this and you just fold up. So I'm going to do it up like right here, right? Like that. And I'm just going to make the crease with my hand. I can't find my bone folder. Uh, oh, here it goes right here. Right here. <laughs> okay, so do it just like that, right? Y'all know how to make a pocket. So what I do um, is I cut these off. So that's why I make my crease first. And then I just take my scissors and cut these like that. And then um, we're going to ink up everything. I'm just showing you how I'm going to cut it out real quick so you guys can see it. Just in case you don't know how to make an easy peasy pocket. Right? And then I just take and angle my corners. Do I measure them? Nope. I just eyeball it. <laughs> okay. And so that's that. That's the pocket. So I'm going to ink up everything. And then I'm going to take my die and make a um, square. If you don't have a square die, you can do circle. Um, or you could just trace it out and cut it out. And so I will be back. Okay, guys, so I have inked everything up, and um, I just took my, you know, blending tool, inked it up, and then I just took the pad and just rubbed it like this, and I love the effect that that gives. It's just so easy, right? It just looks so cool. Okay, so anyway, um, vellum, I think this is the one I'm going to use, and I was thinking, let's do a circle this time. So I have a circle, and I'm just going to put it right here like this. So I found the easiest way when I ran it through um, my machine instead of folding it back. I put it in the inside like this, right? And then I just fold this on top like that and then run it through my machine. So I'm going to do that and what I'm going to do once I'm finished, I'm going to sew around the circle. Hopefully I'm going to do it good, hopefully. And I'm going to sew on the parts that you can see you know, because you're not going to be able to see this, so I'm not going. I'm just going to sew, 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 and sew around, and then I will be back. Oh, guys, and just in case you wanted to know, I got these um, nesting dies from Hobby Lobby. They're spellbinders, and they were 
So, um, yeah, I got these a while ago, though. But just in case you wanted to know where I got the um, dies from. Okay, so <laughs> um, this is what it looks like, right? So you're going to be able to cover that up. So I am going to use this piece of vellum with the two babies, or the, the baby and the mama. I think that's the mama. And so I think that'll look really pretty. Doesn't that look so... I absolutely love this one, y'all. I love the colors in it, the... Um, and uh, I think it's so nature-themed. And I am going to be doing a woodland nature journal. I don't know when. Soon, hopefully. But I always say soon. It doesn't, it's never soon. But in the near future... So I'm going to just make sure I got it like I want to get it. Make sure it's not cricket. Make sure that is... Okay. Perfect. So, and then I'm going to go and I'm going to cut around here. Okay, save your pieces of vellum. All right, so there you go. And I think it looks really pretty. So if you didn't want to sew, you can actually stop right here. I mean, it looks so cute, doesn't it? That's really cute. So I'm gonna take it a little bit further because that's who I am. I am going to, um, y'all, where are they? Okay, I'm gonna add some of these on there. Um, I think I'm just gonna add, I don't know. Maybe this one. I like that one. And what do you guys think? So Disneyland one. Um, I got that one already. I like the green Disneyland one. That goes, doesn't it? Ooh, I like that, right? Like that? I don't know. Maybe we should do this one. Um Hmm. Y'all, this is what takes me so long. These little decisions like this, it takes a long time for me. Or should I just go with the brown? Maybe we'll just go with the brown. We'll just go with the brown. I kind of really like the green, though. No, we're not going to go with the... Guys, this is the one that we're going to be using. <laughs> we're going to use this one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it to my sewing machine. I'm going to sew around everything. And I will show you guys what I have when I come back. Okay. So. There you go. Right? And so now you can put your thing in there. Um, if you want to, you could just put it through this one. But I put it through both. Doesn't really matter. So, um, I'm going to glue that. Okay. So I'm going to glue it around. But before I do that, um, I'm going to show you what other element that we're going to make real quick. Um, so I am going to put a, what are those things called? A bow pin right there and one of those quote things from Tim Holtz. Okay, so uh, this is the other thing that I made. Okay, so I have, you know how you, we all have old book pages and look at the color on that, right? So I got two and this, they're super brittle. So I'm going to put a piece of um, uh, copy paper in the middle. Um, I have, I should have a piece somewhere. I have a piece somewhere. Hold on just a second. Okay. I have a piece right here. Okay. So I'm going to put a piece of copy paper in the middle just to make my tag a little bit stronger. And then, um, I'm going to, well, let me show you real quick. Um, this is a good way if you want to use up your book pages and, um, you want to make tags out of them or ephemera is a really, really good way to use it. Um, so, right, put that in between there like this, right, and then just put glue on the other, just like this, okay, right, and just do it like this because I'm going to have to cut some of it off anyway. Right? There we go. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, that's that. All right, so I know that I want it to fit nicely in there, so I'm going to take it and I am just going to make my mark right here. I'm going to pull it down to right here so I can see. And I think I'm going to want it right here. Okay? So I am going to cut that when it's time. Okay? And then the other element is this, right? So what I did was, because I'm showing you this before I actually um, sew everything around, okay? Um, okay. So what I did was I took these two. I took four of these. Okay, and I glued them together, so I'm going to glue two together and two together, right? Okay. And then you glue this one together. It doesn't matter how you glue them together. The, um, the one that I'm going to use for the back, I did glue this plane on the side so that you can um, journal on that side, right? So we're not going to do anything with that right now. Okay, and then this is the one that we're going to cut. So, okay guys, so since we have the um, uh, two glued together, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this one out, and um, I'm just using my ruler and literally just tracing around my ruler like this. Okay. I thought I had a rectangle die. And I'm sure I do, or maybe I don't. I don't know. So I'm just going to use my ruler. Right. Let's cut it out like this. Okay. Okay, so what did not cut out, I'm going to use my scissors, and I'm just going to go and cut. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we have your piece like this, and then I'm going to just take some ink and I'm just going to ink this up a little bit. Right? Okay, then I'm going to take my packaging and I am going to use a piece for my like window part, right? Okay. And I am going to take this like that, flip this over. Come on, come on. Okay. That uh oh, couldn't see that. Let me see. Okay, right, and then we are going to go. 
as you see how I cut that and I got it off. Ugh. It's okay. It's all right. So that is how it's going to look. And then we're going to take one of those um, vellum or yeah, let me find them first. Where are the stickers? Where are the stickers? Okay, guys. So I'm going to take the stickers and I'm going to place one. Oh, whoa, you girl. This is slow because I was pulling from the wrong side, I think. Was I pulling? No, oh, I was pulling from the right side. <laughs> okay. Take that. Put it right down in the middle. I think if I can get it to go in there. Right? Okay, perfect. And then we're just going to glue the window on top. I think if the glue comes out. Not too much glue because I'm going to sew around. Right? Okay. Like that. Okay. All right, so I am going to sew around this. I am going to cut this out and I'm going to make a tag. And then I think I'm going to put one of these. I'm going to put one of these in the middle of this tag like that. Okay, can you see that? Yeah. So but before I do that, I think what I'm going to do, no, I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. So I was going to cut it to make it straight, but I'm not. I'm going to leave this wavy edge like that. So I'm going to do it like that and I will come back when I have sewed everything together. Okay guys, so um, I have sewn everything around and I just backed it with some um, tea stained paper and I'm going to ink that and then here is my little tag so I'm going to put it right there. So I'm going to ink around everything really really quickly, hopefully. Um, I should have already have done this but I didn't. Okay. Alright. Alright, there you go. And so I am going to take my eyelid and I'm going to put it in this one. Right. That. Right, and then take this one. Um, I'm going to use a um, hole reinforcer for this one. So let me ink that up real quick, like that. Okay. Mm. Uh oh. That's that, and then what we're gonna do is glue this together real quick. Perfect. Okay. Okay. There you go. All right. So I'm going to add a little bit of tape here and there. I think I'm going to add some right here. All right. Um, Okay, you guys can totally use the washi if you wanted to, but um, I just like the way this looked, so I'm going to use this instead. Um, right? Alright, I like that. 
right? Okay, so then we are going to take this and some string. Right. Ugh, got all this stuff on my hand. your string. Perfect. And then we need a um, bow pin, right? That. And one of these. So if you do not have one of these, uh, totally use um, beads, you know, um, if you want. If you want to put something there, beads work just as good. But considering that I don't feel like, um, guys, my, there you go. Ugh. Okay. You could totally use beads if you do not have, um, one of those quote things. Y'all know that. Y'all can improvise. Y'all know how to do that. Okay. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be right. If it's going to flip over backwards or. What? Let me do it this way. Yeah. I don't know. This thing probably going to flip over backwards. Yep, it is. Okay, hold on. Yeah, this that's the only thing about these. They act kind of funny. Okay, there you go. Perfect. Okay, and then you have your tag. And you just put it in there. So, perfect, right? I think they turned out really nice. Um, so this is it. So we made some easy, simple ephemera to go in a woodland journal or just to have. What do you guys think? I think they turned out pretty good. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. God bless, guys. Bye.